What is customer success? Well, customer service is reactive. A course coming in, you're listening to understand, you've got great communication skills, great sales skills, able to understand people and to empathize and to guide. That's called reactive, that's customer service. Customer success is proactive. That's where you're putting yourself out, where you're thinking ahead. Your, your intent is, how can I help them? You're two steps ahead of that client, taking them somewhere. The value proposition is completely different. Let me give you a great story. So my 10 year old son wanted an Akubra hat. I emailed five places that sold Akubra hats. Only one place come back. So that's customer service, that's reactive. And even then only one place came back. That, that team were obviously all detached from the commercial side of the business, right? The four other people didn't even come back to me. But anyway, one came back to me. The email was excellent. It was on point. It had a link, it had a picture. I go back to this person and say, can you do this? They come back and say, yes, we can. How, we're happy to help. It was short to the point. It was polite. It was professional. I happen to reply and say, thank you so much. If we come in, it will be Thursday between 11 and 12 o'clock. And I'll be bringing my son in who's 10 on Friday from Charmaine and Ernie turning 10 on Friday. Now that was on the Monday. And to be honest, I completely forgot about that email. And on the Friday, we were going out about our day and I knew we were going to go to Strand Hatters and I forgot that I sent that email on the Monday. We walk into the Strand Hatters at the arcade in Sydney and somebody is serving somebody and other people are serving other people. And this chap turns around when he's finished serving, looks at us and goes, Charmaine, Ernie, happy birthday. Now think about that for just a second. That is called customer success, isn't it? That's proactive. Now that blew me away so much. I posted five times on LinkedIn. I post it constantly on Facebook. Anyone that was stand still, I'd tell them about that story. But also the concerning thing with me was it wasn't even that hard to do. All he had to do was write our names down and that's how poor the general customer service skills is across Australia and across America and across, across the UK. We just not generally why to go that extra step to be proactive, to have that customer service excellence. We have leaders that go, my team are customer service excellence, but what does that even mean? What are the brand values of customer service excellence? Can you be the next strand hatter? Can you be proactive? Can you be ahead? Can you really be helpful? Another quick story, my colleague worked with me, her father unfortunately passed away. She's calling up funeral directors and she called up four and three were just on point and told, them what, told her what she needed. And the last one she called up said, you know, what's your name and found out a bit of information and they said, tell me about your dad. And my colleague just broke down and they had a good old chat about it and, and they, they sorted everything out. And my colleague said to me, I paid $50,000 for that funeral because she cared so much. She made it so much about my dad and about me and what would be right. Now think about that for a second. Everyone else gets into the sort of like, you know, like a cookie cutter. Yeah, take a call, do this, give that, give that. Without thinking, well, what is customer service excellence? How can I go beyond? How can I be proactive and do more than the clients ask for? That is customer service excellence.